Facebook. <laughs> okay, you're the teacher. Hello, hello. Hi, teacher. How are you? I'm very happy to see you. Okay. Uh, it's my uh, first opportunity to receive the class. La, uh, class. Oh. Uh, were, uh, were you in the yes? in in the in one of the classes <laughs> last year? Uh, no, no. Uh, this is my first time that I receive class in this uh, school. Okay, good, good, very good. Welcome. Thank you. I'm I'm very um, excited. Good, very good. Nice. You have come to the and right place. Thank you, sir. Thank you. I appreciate and I I I want to 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 be a very good student. Very good. You Thank will you be. So Thank you, you will so be. All right, good. All right, welcome everybody. It's nine o'clock. Yes. Welcome to the English class. My name is Francisco Marroquin. I'm going to be in charge of, of this class um, from 9 to 10 p.m. Four days a week. This, days. Yeah, this week we start today and we finish on Friday. But that's going to be only this week. Um, yes. Next week we start Monday and we finish on Thursday. 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 Yeah. Yeah. All right. Yes. Sir. So, I live in Lourdes, I'm 49 years old. I have five children. I'm an uh, English teacher. Um, I, te I work at different institutions. I teach different levels. And this is my, my occupation. This is my career. I'm, I'm an English teacher. So welcome to the class. Thank you. Yes. So um, any questions so far? Not yet. Not yet. Okay. What is my name? Uh, your name? Yes, my mm -hmm. name. Your name is Francisco Marroquin. Francisco Marroquin. Where do I live? Uh, you, uh, you live in Lourdes. Uh-huh. Good. Am I married or single? Married with five uh With children. five children. Yes, with five children. Exactly. And what is my occupation? Teacher, English teacher. Very good. All right, so I want to hear you speak. So it's your time for you to introduce yourself. Remember that one of the conditions from Insaforp, um, your camera needs to be activated. So I appreciate uh, <laughs> the place where you are so I can see your beautiful faces. So I know you like your pictures or maybe you don't like to show your face. So we have to be like Noé and Ovidio with a live, um, with a live image. Okay. So you have to show your face. Tienen que activar la cámara para que los Let me see. You don't see me? No, I only see a camera. Uh, let, me line. See. let me try because I don't. Let me see. Here. Okay. All right. Like All right. So, may I have the first volunteer to introduce yourself, the place where you live, uh, and the place where you work? Uh, I want to be the first one. Okay, Bersabe, go ahead. Okay, uh, okay. my name is Juana Bersabe Sandoval, um, viuda de Posada. I live in Santa Tecla. I work at um, Intradesa. I am industrial engineer. I love my work and I'm very happy to be with you. Okay. I have a question for you, Versave. Did you study English at ITCA uh, some years ago? Uh, yes, but only, I re let me remember, approximately three months. I, yes. On Sundays? 
Yes. It, it, do you recognize my face? Uh, a little, yes. Yes, oh. I remember your name, Francisco Marroquín, and you, you were a very good teacher. Yes, I remember <laughs> you. I don't know if you remember me. Of course, I recognize your name. Thank you. When, yes, when, when you activate your camera, I will see your face. Yes. yes All right. I, I very like good. You. Thank you, Versave. Okay, you, uh, next person. Volunteer. Ovidio. I cannot hear you. Maybe you need to check your microphone, Ovidio. Yes, yes, we can hear you. Okay, my name is Ovidio Bautista. I work in Etesal. I live, I live in, in Lourdes. Okay. Um, I'm, I'm married. I have two children. Uh, I, I am 51 years old. Okay. I, I'm, I'm an electrical engineer. Good. Good. What um, part of Lourdes do you live in? I live in, in, in Las Arboledas. Okay, very good. Nice. Thank you, Video. Okay. All right, next volunteer, please. Uh, hello to everyone. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you, Carlos. Thank you. My name is Carlos. Um, I'm living in San Salvador, Colonia Flor Blanca. Uh huh. Four years old. I work at Covenant, it's a cybersecurity company. Uh, is from USA, but we are partners from the main company. Um, I like to read, to watch uh, TV, uh, Netflix, you know, some series. Uh, in the normal world, I like to go outside with friends uh, to have nice trips, but right now it is not so easy. Yeah, we have yeah. restrictions. We have serious restrictions, right? Okay, good. Thank you, Carlos. You're welcome. All right, next volunteer, please. Me? Regina, oh. yes. Hi, good night, everyone. My name is Regina Gonzalez. I live in Los Planes de Renderos. I work at Fruit of the Lume Salvador, that is located in Lourdes, Colón. I'm single. I want to practice my English, I want to improve my English. And nice to meet everyone. All right, thank you, Regina. All right, next volunteer. Noé. Mm -hmm. Okay. Ah, yes, Noé. Okay. And then Eduardo. Okay, uh, I am Noé Garcia. I live in Antiguo Cuscatlán. Um, I work in um, the pharmaceutical industry. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to, to restart this uh, model. Uh, so it's nice to meet everyone. So I want to improve my, my English. All right. Very good. Thank you, Noe. Thank you. <clears throat> Eduardo. Welcome. All right. How are you? I right, think. Good. I think we we are parents because I'm Marroquin as well. Exactly. Yeah, maybe okay. we're family. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Okay, I'm 40 years old. I'm married. I I'm, I live with my family, my, my, my wife and my sons. And okay. let's see, my Joe, I work for 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 the for the industry, for the fuel industry. Okay. All right. And so uh, I, I received a message about this, this, uh, this course, this classes. So this course, I decided to take it because I definitely I don't speak English too much here now. So I decided to take it to, to remember All right. this. All right. Sources. Good. And where do All you right. live, Eduardo? I live here in San Salvador. Okay, San Salvador. What part of San Salvador? Yeah. Uh, let's see, near Antiguo Bucatlan. Okay, good, good. So Eduardo mentioned something very important that for some people here, 
this is the only space that you have to practice the language. So uh, maybe in your mm -hmm. office, you don't practice it. Maybe in your oh. house, you don't practice it. So when you guys join the class, take advantage and, and speak. Yes. Welcome, Eduardo. All right. Thank you. Someone else? You. You know. Eduardo Martinez, Janir Hernandez, Sarai Pereza, Peraza, Eric Alexandra. Yes. Good night, everybody. Hello. My name Hello. is Janir Hernandez. I live in Chachuapa City. Okay. I work at FONAP. It's a government institution. Um, I am the treasurer and I like English and I hope to acquire more abilities in my English. Good, very good. Thank you, Janita. Erica, Sarai, Eduardo Martinez. Hello, everybody. Good night. My name is Erica Alexandra. I am 29 years old. I work at Grupo Renderos. I am a production manager. Um, the English is uh, very important, very important for me because I love travel. Okay. And, and our, around the world, the English is very important. And that's it. Okay, good, very good. Where do you live, Erica? Uh, in Mexicanos. Mexicanos, okay, yeah. very good. Thank you, Erica. Okay, you. Sarai, Eduardo. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Okay, uh, hello. Me. Yes, Sarai. Hello, uh, my name is Sarai Peraza. Uh, I am a math teacher. I have two works. I work in Josue Christian School and I work in a UCA. Oh, okay. And nice to meet you. To nice everyone. to meet you too, Sarai. Where do you live, Sarai? I live in Soyapango. Soyapango, okay, very good, thank you. Eduardo Martinez. Eduardo. Uh, hi, teacher, good night. Hello, good evening. Yes. Aha. Uh -huh. Good evening. Uh, my name is Eduardo. Uh, I am 29 years old. I work in front of the Lunga Salvador. Uh, I live in Santa Tecla and I want to improve my English because I am looking for a upgrade in the world. Okay, good, very good. All right, Julio, would you like to introduce yourself? Hello, my name is Julio, I'm 35 years old. I work at Tigo El Salvador too. And this is my first course online. And it was a fair experience for me, but I like it because I have a control of my time. Good, good, nice. Yeah, and that's one of the advantages that you have when you study online. You control your time better. Very good, Julio. Okay, Elder. Elder, can you hear me? Herbert, can you hear me? Hear you. Okay. I can hear you. Okay, can you introduce yourself? Uh, well, hello, everybody. My name is Elder Zigaran. I am 25 years old. I live in Mexicanos. I work at CEPA in the International Airport of El Salvador. Okay. I'm a traffic controller. And I have been here like like a year maybe. It's, it's my first work, where my first job, uh, introducing in my career. And all right, good, well, good. That's pretty much it, maybe, for now. All right, good, welcome. So um, it doesn't matter where the person works, English is necessary, and working at an airport is really, really, really necessary because of all the yes, connection, yes. the communication that people have there yes, with other countries. I, mean, I, I speak English every day, but in the, when I speak, we already have a, like a standard phraseology that we use with the pilot and uh -huh. 
we lose a little bit the practice about going out of that phraseology. So uh, we need to uh, or keep uh, practicing something out of our, our work. Yeah. All right, good, good, good. All right, so remember, uh, when I assigned you to work in pairs, uh, the expectation is that you guys are using the language. So Spanish, you, you forget about your Spanish from 9 to 10 p.m. Okay. We're allergic yeah. to Spanish in this class, so use only, only English. All right, so I'm going to assign you to work in pairs and tell your friend why you want to improve your English. Is it work? Is it university? Is it your own satisfaction? Uh, do you have a boyfriend, girlfriend that doesn't speak Spanish? Whatever reason you may have, this is your first chance to start uh, using the language. So let me see this here, eight. Uh -huh. And here we go. So whoever your partner is, you just answer, why do you want to improve your language? So Great. let's do this. And remember, please activate your cameras. I can't, I don't know. I... Okay, don't worry. The others need to activate your camera. Loading, loading, loading. Hello, hello. Shanita, Herbert, can you hear me? Yes, yes, I hear you. Okay, Herbert, can you hear us? Mm -hmm. Maybe he, okay, I will move you to another room, uh, Shanita. I don't know. This is my first time using Zoom. Zoom. Don't worry. Don't, don't worry. Know. No, you're not the problem. The problem was Herbert because he disconnected. So I'm going to send you to another room. Don't worry. Okay. All right, good. Okay. Yes. I don't know if I don't know how does it work because I understand that some in some moment we are in pairs, but in other moment we will continue. Yes. Uh, ah, okay, okay. But it's automatically that we are in pairs and then we're back. In, yes, in the, the teacher sent the, the breakup. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Okay. So why do you want okay. to improve your English, Regina? Well, I have, I, I need to improve my English because it's necessary in my work, in my job, or because I work in an um, American company and sometimes I have to get in touch 
in, in the United States with people in the United States. Uh -huh. That's why, and I need to, I need to, I don't know how to say it, but remember all of all of the things that I learned in uh -huh. English because okay. in my diary, in my in my daily life, I don't speak frequently in English. Okay, all right. What about you, Sarai? Why do you want to improve your English? I cannot, you're mute. Um. Okay, sorry. It's okay. Um, in my case, I, <laughs> I need to improve my English, my English because uh, my own satisfaction Okay. I try in in more occasions uh, since I study in the university. Okay. But I can I can complete the right. my studies in English. Okay, but this time you will, sorry. Yes. You will this time. So you're a teacher too. So you're a teacher. Yes, I am a teacher, math teacher. Okay, so you like, I, you like and I school? work, yes, and I work uh, bilingual. In yeah, college. you say Josue School, huh? Yes, Josue Christian School. Okay, good, very good. All right, so let me yes. visit another room. Okay, okay. I was uh, uh, auxiliar, auxiliar, how do you say Ah, Ingeniero civil. Junior. Es auxiliar civil. <laughs> Because I, no, I, I don't uh, resident engineer. engineer. Mm -hmm. It's like a, a, a resident engineer. Like a, yes. Mm -hmm. Definitely, this is my, my first time as well. How are you? Okay, nice. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Any questions or comments? Uh, actually, I got one. Yes, sir. Um, the class is just to talk, practice, or we are going to see any specific topics during um, the course? Have you had the chance to visit the platform? Oh, uh, no, Marina. No, yet. Okay, so give me a second. Give me a second. Room three. Um, when you visit the platform, you will have access to four different units. Every okay. unit has, uh, has different topics. So we, whatever topics you have in the platform, they will be covered here in this live class. So your responsibility is to finish all the, um, all the assignments that the platform has for you. So there is a, there is particular grammar that we will study there's particular vocabulary and uh we, we will have different topics elder okay nice okay. yep okay so let me visit one more room and then we go back to the main session all right thank you all right hey, with me and, yeah but i do, i i was very um uh very how i say only I was a study, a study, a study. I was a very good student, and I didn't have time to to think in another thing. I another don't know if you understand. Thing, oh, yeah. Yes, I. I uh, <laughs> yes, yes, I understand you. Of course. And I, wow. I never, I saw the situation, <laughs> that situation, and right now he explained me. You, you, you were very, um, very good with me, but I, I wanted something more, and you, you never gave me the, gave me the opportunity to close, to be close to you, and I, I, for me, uh, right now, um, was was very, very, very good, but I. You know, it's, it's very difficult because he he is he talks with me in English, and I I right sometimes I don't understand him very clearly, and 
Yes. It's, it's good. It's good I, to know, but it's difficult. Yes, I understand you. I, I met a girl in Instagram and uh -huh. we start to chat and after that we in, we interchange the 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 numbers in WhatsApp. So yeah. start the homework maybe not every day but yes yeah, but yes every week. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Yeah, if you have issues, you can ask to the teacher or the people who is in the company to help us. Hello, teacher. Hi. I like English, but I don't like homeworks. Uh, you know, like, um, you know, uh, Insaforb evaluates each one of you according to the work that you do in the platform. So, uh, if, if like the person doesn't like homework, I suggest that you work a little bit every day so you don't accumulate work. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So um, have you guys had the chance to visit the platform? Yes. Yes. Okay. The last, if, uh, the last Saturday, I, I, I prefer uh, work my my homework in, in, in the Saturday and Sunday. Okay. All right. Yeah, everybody has a different style. Yeah. Um, you say, I dedicate my Saturday afternoon, my Sunday night. Or maybe a person might say, no, I prefer to spend 15, 20 minutes each day. So everybody's different. Yes. Yes. Of course. Okay. Yeah. All right. So let's go back to the main session. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, does anybody want to share why you want to improve your English? Why do you? Anybody? I know you have good reasons. Uh huh. Well, me. Yeah. Regina. You too. You first. Well, I need to practice my English. I need to improve it because I work in American company. And sometimes I have a bit of confidence or meetings in with people, with American people, and I need I I know that I have to improve my skills of English. Okay, very good, Elder. You raise your hand, Elder. No, okay. Someone else wants to share why you want to improve your English. Yes, I'm here. <laughs> okay, Elder. Uh, well, I'm taking the course because I would like to continue practicing. Um, in my work, I speak every day English, but I mean, it's not the same like uh, having a conversation with a specific person about random topics. And in that way, it pushed me to learn a little bit more vocabulary, practice my pronunciation, um, keeping like in mind all my knowledge. And in support, I can have a certificate about to support my English level because I don't have any certificate that's, that support me in my knowledge in English. I learn it by myself and in that way, maybe is an advantage and 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 something good that the company is giving to us here in SEPA because I mean they give us the opportunity and if you want it you only have to take it. All right, good, good, nice. Another person, last volunteer to share why you want to improve your English. Well, I try. Yes, Fernando. I would like to improve my skill to speaking because I feel uh, so speak slowly and I would like to uh, listen the, the, um, the movies and the natural languages. Okay. Uh, All right, good. 
Okay, um, anybody else wants to share? No? Okay, so let's go to our next activity, which is related with vocabulary. Well, I want to... Yes? Well, I want to improve my English to have more to have more job opportunities uh -huh. because I think English is so important to to get more 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 job opportunities. Sure, sure. Yeah, you know that uh, education is not everything, but it opens many doors. And when we talk about education, English is included. Remember that uh, um, English is not a subject. English is uh, it's a life skill. It can change your life. It can improve your life. So that's that's uh, that's how people should see uh, English. All right. Anybody else? Anybody else? No. Yes. Yes, uh, I want to improve my English teacher because it's very important for me personally uh, because uh, I want to see, I want to watch uh, movies and not to to read the subtitles right. uh, like, like uh, same uh, Noé because this is the uh, same problem that he has. And um, it's, I, I love Netflix, uh, um, I love uh, movies, and I, I, I want to, to be uh, more, um, how I say, understand better, understand better the different accents. Okay. Uh, because it's, it's difficult, sir. And this is my my uh your objective problem. okay yeah. all right good good yeah so remember that everybody has different needs but we got four macro skills in english we have listening speaking reading writing maybe your communication at work is by reading maybe it's by speaking maybe it's listening so we try to incorporate a little bit of everything in this class so everybody feels uh, satisfied okay. all right um any questions or comments? No. No? All right, can you see the document describing problems? Yes. Okay. So when we're describing problems, you can describe those issues by using um, two types of, uh, two different options. You can use the past participle of the verb, the one that I'm coloring right now, or if you prefer, you can use the nouns. So the past participle is torn, torn. damaged, damaged, chipped, damaged. Stained, stained, scratched, stained, scratched, and is leaking. <coughs> is leaking. Now, this is the past participle form. Once again, you can describe exactly the same problem by using nouns and the message will be exactly the same. Now, how do you say torn in Spanish? Rascar. Roto. 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 So they say, hey, your shoes are torn. Your shirt is torn. Your pants are torn. So, roto. How would you say roto in the form of a noun? Una uh, rotura. Rotura. Exactly. So you can perfectly say, los pantalones están rotos o el pantalón tiene una rotura. The message is exactly the same. You have two different options to say uh, the same thing. Now we have damaged. Damaged. What is damaged in Spanish? Dañado. Dañado. How would you say damage in the, in the, in the form of nouns? Daño. 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 Exactly. So you say, el reloj está dañado o el reloj tiene daño? The message is exactly the same. What about chipped? Astillado. Astillado, exactly. Chipped means astillado. How would you say chip in the noun form? Astilla. Uh -huh. 
astilla. So you say, el reloj está astillado. El reloj, el reloj tiene una astilla. What about stained? Manchado. Manchado. And stained as a noun? Mancha. 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 Exactly. Mancha. Yes. What about scratched? Rayado. 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 Scratch in the form of the noun? Ra raya. Raya. Ah, raya, exactly. And then the last one, the last one has a little asterisk. Um, it says, is leaking. What is the meaning of is leaking? Está goteando. Está goteando, exactly. What about it has a leak? Tiene una, una gotera. Una gotera, exactly. So as you can see, it doesn't matter if you're using past participles or if you're using nouns, the message is exactly the same. So you guys should be familiar with this vocabulary because you can apply this uh, in your car, on your watch, on your cell phone, on a flat screen, on a tablet. I mean, so many things that can suffer uh, these, these problems here. Um, any questions so far about the vocabulary section? No. No, I don't okay. know. How do you pronounce yeah. this one? Damage. Damage. Okay, how do you, the ED Damage. form? Damaged. 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 ED Damaged. sounds like a T. Damaged. Damaged. Uh -huh. Damaged. Then you Damaged. have chipped. 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 Mm -hmm. chipped. Now, this other one sounds a little bit different. You say stained. 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 And the last one is scratched. 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 So remember, um, the same rule that you apply for regular verbs in the past form, you apply the same rule when you're describing something that finishes with ed, when you're applying um, adjectives. So when you're describing a problem, you're using adjectives. Which adjectives? The ones we're using in the form of past participle. Okay. Any questions here? No, sir. Okay, can you mention no. an example of something that can be torn? What can be torn? Uh, Some pants, a chair. Shirt, pants. Shirt, pants. Shoes. Uh, shoes, glasses. Uh huh. Mm. Okay. Now, what can be damaged? Um, a what? car. A computer, a, a telephone, a watch, a cell phone, the brain. Yeah, your TV. brain. Okay, damaged. Now, what can be chipped? Cup. Uh, furniture, a chair. Okay. What, what, what other material can be chipped? Wood. Wood, glass. Glass, yes. Glass. Mm -hmm. So, like, if you drop your cell phone by mistake, it's not completely broken, but it's chipped. And uh -huh. once it's chipped, you know, it's just a matter of time uh, before yeah. the screen uh, gets uh, more damage. Yes. Now, what can be stained? Uh, no. Yes. Clothing. Yes. Uh -huh. yes. Uh -huh. no, no, no. Okay. What about scratched? Glasses. Uh, glasses. Glasses. Uh -huh. A lot those. Okay. All right. Wood, a car. Yes. Yep. Okay. Good. And Maybe what? The screen? Yeah. The screen can be scratched. Yeah. Yes. Okay. okay. And leaking. What can be leaking? Silent. What is it? Roof. The, the roof. Okay. Uh, yeah, the roof is a good uh, a good example. A pipeline. What is it? A sink. Pipeline. Sink. 
a sink. How do you say tubería in English? Pipe. 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 Very pipe. good. Yes. A pipe can pipe. be leaking. A pipe a can be leaking. Yes. A car. A car can be leaking oil yeah. or water. Yes. Hose. A hose. Yes. A hose. Okay. Okay. What is hose? Oh, manguera. Manguera. Right. Um, yeah. A hose can be leaking. How do you spell hose, Carlos? H O S E. H O S E. It's similar to house, but it's without, without you. And oh. pronunciation is very different. So you say hose. Yes. Oh. All right, good. Any questions? No, sir. No? All right, so no. this is vocabulary that you will find in some of the activities that we have in the, um, in the platform. Uh, remember that the course is exactly four weeks, even though the schedule says five, I think it says five, but it's only four weeks. So my suggestion, um, every week make sure that you complete the work that we have covered in the session so maybe you want to do it daily maybe you want to do it on saturdays maybe you want to do it on sundays everybody works different everybody has different schedules so just make sure that the platform is not unattended for more than one week so that way you don't accumulate work all right. I have a uh, question. I have a question. Yes. Yes. And uh, where we can find the 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 platform? <clears throat> the platform. Um, yeah. Inglés Corporativo sent you an email. That email contains a link for the WhatsApp chat, a link for YouTube because these classes are being recorded. So when we finish the class, you know, I have to make a process, and and the class is uploaded the following day, which is tomorrow at eight o'clock. Sometimes I do it the same night. Sometimes I do it at six in the morning. So check your your email and make sure that everybody adds uh, your name to the WhatsApp chat because many times we share information through the chat. And the same email has the link to access to the, there, yes, sir. Uh, teacher Francisco, uh, sorry. Uh, yes, sir. In the WhatsApp group, I type the 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 address to to connect the platform. Okay, let me see this here. All right here. Thank you. Right. Yes. Thank you, Noé. Yeah. So there is the link. Uh, so you just click there, and uh, you have access to the WhatsApp chat to the YouTube channel and to the material uh, that you will be using in the platform. Yes. Thank you. All right, good. Now, if somebody has any problems accessing to the platform, contact me or uh, use the chat group. And there is always uh, someone checking if you have any inconvenience accessing the platform. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay, uh, any questions about this vocabulary? I'm born. No? Born. Okay, yeah. so remember, uh, the best way to improve uh, vocabulary, grammar, listening skills is to actively use the language whenever you have the chance. Okay, so let's go to our last activity. Long save. And a new share and it's right here. Okay, can uh let me see it's opening. Open, open. What time do you guys usually wake up? At five o'clock. Five o'clock, six o'clock. Six. Six o'clock. Okay. Four. And what? And what time do you usually go to sleep? Nine. I get up at four fifteen. Eleven. <clears throat> Regina, you wake up at really early. Yes, because I start to work at seven a.m. But uh, on my 
way to work, it's a little bit crowded. Yeah, there is traffic. Mm -hmm. yes. A lot. Okay, all right. And what time do you guys uh, go to bed? 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? Nine o'clock. <laughs> okay, how do you say this velarse in English? Uh, I don't remember. Okay, how do you say quedarse in English? Stay. 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 Now, Stay. if you want to say desvelarse, you say stay, uh, stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. Stay up. So, we are staying up. <laughs> okay, so for some people, you guys are staying up, right? Yeah. So imagine uh, tomorrow you, you look a little bit tired and your supervisor says, hey, Francisco, are you okay? And Francisco will answer, well, I stayed up last night. Me desvelé anoche. So you stayed up. Stayed up. Stayed up. So, um, or we can yes. say stay awake? Sure. Yeah, you can oh, say okay. stay awake. Perfectly. Okay. Now this page is not opening. My goodness. Mm -hmm. See this here. Hmm. Okay, but anyways, uh, the topic we're going to discuss right now is knowledge. 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 Let, let me see where I have this here because it's not moving. Okay, so I will dictate four questions. You guys copy the questions and then you discuss the questions. Do you have pen and paper? Yes, sir. Or do you have a computer where you take notes? Okay, number one, what's the best way to increase your knowledge? What's the best way to increase your knowledge? You have to answer now. Uh, no, right now you just copy the questions. I will try to memorize it because I don't have any anything to okay, write. Okay, no, don't down. worry. Question number two: Do you think people with a lot of knowledge are wise? Do you think people with a lot of knowledge are wise? Question three, what is better to have? Great imagination or lots of knowledge? What is best to have? Great imagination or lots of knowledge? And question number four, have you ever been frustrated have you ever been frustrated because of lack of knowledge? Have you ever been frustrated because of lack of knowledge? Are the questions clear? Yes. Yes. All right. Yes. So Just the last one is a uh, lock up is like to don't know a lot. Exactly. Of. Exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Lack of. Yes. All right. So you guys have exactly nine minutes to answer those four questions, interact, and I'll be visiting you. Go ahead.
And you, Carlos? I agree with the Nira uh, about the practice, but if uh, maybe it depends about what kind of knowledge do you want to achieve, because uh, if it is just uh, a knowledge uh, per se, um, maybe you can you can have it just reading or that you can prove the knowledge in order to make it to make it real uh, of course you have to practice uh, the practice make the teacher like the teacher uh, yeah practice makes perfect practice yes, makes yes. Perfect. okay that is proof for me all right and you Julio? yes for me is is the practice too uh, a lot of practice because uh, maybe you can you read a lot of books but but if you don't practice this uh, context or this situation and do you do you no don't you have a, a experience for the topic for example or for the for the other things you need practice a lot of practice for the it's the best ways yeah. for me to yeah knowledge. maybe maybe the first step is uh, to reading understand, understand the topic or, or then the, understand uh, read and practice in and, and, and practice yes because sometimes you can make a, a thing like a knowledge are wise um, most of the time i think mm -hmm. and the people who have a lot of knowledge usually know um, the way they supposed to act. I mean, yeah. um, they, they, they know how to treat with people or with situations. And yeah, I think most of the time they are wise. What do you think? Well, I think in the most of, of cases are like that, but not in all of them. All of people because some people have a lot of knowledge but they aren't all... can anybody say the question again i don't hear them yes the first one is how do you how can you increase your your knowledge the second one was um Let me see uh, the second. The second one was yes. do you think wait, wait, uh, wait, wait. having a, a lot of knowledge is be be wise? Yeah. Do you think people with a lot of knowledge are wise? Are wise. The third one was wait wait. Do 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 you think people with a lot of knowledge are wise? Wise, wise intelligent. What is, meaning, what is the meaning of knowledge? Uh, conocimiento. Sabiduría, conocimiento. Are, are, are wise. Yes, are wise. W-I-S-E. W-I-S-E, that is correct. All right. And the question is, the I see if I know some people? No, or... the question is, do you think people with a lot of knowledge are wise? So people that have a lot of information are intelligent. Okay. Actually, I don't think so. Okay. Okay. And number three. What was question number three? Uh, what's better to have? Great imagination or lots of knowledge? What is better? Great imagination or lots of knowledge? I guess the best one is a uh, great imagination with a lot of money. All right. A lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> that is a big one. Both. Both. <laughs> both. would be better. Yeah. Have what a combination of both. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. So discuss the, those questions. Okay. okay. In, <clears throat> in number four. Not necessary to be wise. And um. is I remember the, the history of the wife of, of Mr. Obama. The, um, I, the, sorry, teacher. The, <laughs> no, go ahead, go ahead. The, the, <laughs> word, is, the, the word is 10. Uh, 
the verb the word is persistent yes per um, yeah. okay right okay what what you talking about mama sorry i you I were talking about Obama. Obama. Yes, uh, I remember that she said that she uh, is not wise, but she studied a lot. She was a very, very good student, not like Mr. Obama, but because Mr. Obama was a uh, uh, very very uh, smart student uh, and she studied a lot, a lot and she uh, could finish uh, her, her career with, with him. And it's not necessary for me that uh, you, you are wise that uh, because if if you uh, prepare uh, prepare a lot in so, uh, something uh, and you uh, study a lot, you, uh, you you can can be a oh, very nice. good in, in something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think that yes. And where do you work? Oh. I, I work at Tigo. Ah, Tigo. In, in which area of Tigo? I am in something like it's called Shared Service Center. Okay. Uh -huh. It's about so what? I um, give service with, uh, to all the region, all Central America, El okay. Salvador, Honduras, Guatemala. Service about the internet finance. or fine no, ah, okay. finance. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm, so I, I I create like uh, suppliers and items and stuff like that in in in, in the system, okay. and they the the all the operation use this information to create uh, purchase orders. Ah, okay, that's good. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. What about you? Well, um, I work at Fruit of the Loom at the manufacturing company. I don't know ah. if you ever hear yeah. about it. Yes, I used yes. to work at, at, at Haynes Brands. Ah, really? <laughs> yes, so I, I definitely know Fruit of the Loom. Yes, Fruit of the Loom. Then I'm the head of a CSR and communications, and that's why I do in, in the company. Oh. Yeah, I, it, it's it's very important for for people at, at the uh, textile industry to know uh, English a lot. Yes, and it's it's important because they, there are um, American companies. Then you have some sure. meetings, or you can get a better position if you I, I know used to work English. I used to work with people of North Carolina, North, ah, North Carolina. North yeah. Carolina. Uh -huh. Yes, the, the head of, of Haynes is in there. So yeah, really? definitely. Yeah, mm. definitely you need to have communication with them. <laughs> yes, that's why I need to improve my English and yep. to practice because if you don't practice, you can forget some, th some things about the language. And it's frustrating, like we were saying, because the lack of you knowledge. were paying. <laughs> yes, you were paying in another occasions uh, English classes, and I've never uh, finished my English classes. Then I, I need to to practice. You sound right. very well, I must say. Yeah, yeah, and it's true, you know, like people pay for classes, and many times they don't finish for for different reasons. Me, that's my case. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so let's go back to the main session. Okay, okay. thank you. It's a right. pleasure to meet you, Regina. Nice to meet you too, Heber.
Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. Do you have any questions or comments about today's class? No? My case is no, teacher. Thank you very much. Okay. All right. So if there are no questions, no comments, thank you for your time. Sleep well, and I'll be seeing you tomorrow, same place, same time. Have a good night. Thank you. Thank you. All right, good night, everybody. Good, good night. night. Bye -bye. Bye -bye. Hey, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye bye. Persevere.